What's up guys? Welcome back to the Zawoki channel. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic Thursday the 18th. Um, we have two more days until the Fortnite event happens, so make sure you guys prepare for that for the Twitch uh, live event with me. So make sure you guys do that as well. Um, guys, we'll be taking a look at the Funko SDC release that was today. Um, I got some of them, but not all of them, and I'll tell you why. So I did my release today. I'm going to get the SDC release of the, the exclusive pops today. Um, I'll throw up an image here. These are all the release shared retailers, exclusives, what have you. Um, Hot Topic was open this morning at 8 a.m. this morning. I didn't see any ones that I wanted to get myself or why I... I didn't really see any ones that were really sparking out to me with Hot Topic. So I just kind of skipped Hot Topic today. That's one reason why I didn't go is because there's nothing really that I wanted. Um, let me take this down a little bit here. Um, going with Walmart, I did stop at Walmart. I at my buddy or one of my buddies stopped in one town. I stopped in another. I checked both Walmarts. Both Walmarts seemed like they had no idea that they were supposed to be released today. So, and I've checked their website and obviously as well, they're not on the website yet as well either. Um, Walmart is one of those ones that do not keep up with their Funko pop figures. I know when I got my, uh, what are they called? The Thanos Infinity Gauntlet colors. They were not, they didn't show up to Walmart for quite a while. Um, so that was frustrating. And then when I wanted to go up there to get those Walgreens, or the Walmart ones today, the, the Big Bang Theory, um, in their Justice League outfits, they kind of looked at me with a ghost in the, or a deer in the headlights kind of look. Um, so it was very frustrating. I wanted to either get a couple or get all of them. And I couldn't get any of them because the Walmart associates did not have any clue about them. So that's definitely one thing that I do. I'm very upset when it does come to SDC or even, I don't think any uh, ECC ones come out for that as well. Mostly Barnes and Noble, Hot Topic, GameStop and so forth. But Walmart is one of those ones that does not keep up with it, including Walgreens. I did go to get, try to get Wong as well. Wang, Wang or Wong? I believe it's Wong. Wong, I was hoping for this. This was like my number one pop that I wanted to get was Wong. You can see down in the bottom right corner there. I wanted to get him. I definitely talked to a couple associates at two different locations for Walgreens. And they obviously were like, we don't know what you're talking about. I'm like a little frustrating when these are supposed to be released to these retailers like Hot Topic and GameStop, which are always on point when it comes to these um, releases. Um, Walmart and Walgreens are definitely, unfortunately, very frustrating to get. Um, Box Lunch, I know they went live last night as well. Um, I didn't see any ones that I wanted in there. Barnes & Noble, they did have theirs as well. They're definitely one that is very good on keeping up with theirs as well. Um, they did have the Demogorgon, or Demogorgon um, available. Um, the Pating, I know my buddy that's over in uh, um, the UK that I did a, um, a collaboration with, definitely did not like this Pating. Um, of all things for Doctor Who, he was not happy with it, but I couldn't help but laugh when I saw it. Um, they did have Doctor, or they did have Snoopy as well. Um, they had the other three in there as well, but they are very good on keeping up with their stock as well. Um, GameStop, awesome. I will show you those pops that I came or got today. GameStop never fails to come through with me. Um, they're one of my n number one guys. So, I mean, yeah, everybody doesn't like GameStop because of the trade-in values and so forth, but they're always up to date on their um, collectibles and so forth, including Legends and Pops. So definitely don't want to go stray away from GameStop because they're very good. Funko Pop or Funko Shop, I don't have one around here. There is one that I would like to get is the HR Puffin stuff. That will be on my to-do list to try to get online. Um, but I wanted to get these ones first, the ones that I could get in person. Um, that will have to be at a different time. Uh, uh, Entertainment Earth, I see on the top there, in the middle of the le top left. Um, I'm not really wanting the any of those, the Jaws or the, the thing, I think, Swamp Thing. I don't want any of those ones um, either. And also the show only, not not really wanting them. Um, Amazon, eh, not really want. This was this year for SDC was not 
of a hype for me as it was last year. Um, just pretty much the ones that I wanted were the ones at GameStop and Walmart. Um, Target was definitely left down with having the wolf from, um, what was it called? Teenage Wolf, I can't remember what it's called. And then having the one from um, Zoolander, I was not really happy about those two. Um, usually Target has a 10 inch, not SDC, but releases, and that's usually where I get mine. Uh, 10 inches from well, most of them go from Target there, but I'm getting a little sidetracked here But Target was not this like I said before SDC this year for 2019 was not my Biggest year that I've wanted to collect. I've only been collecting for about two years now about a year and a half two years um, And this is definitely the not the year that I wanted um, Going back to hot topic. I know Gamora the classic Gamora was definitely in there as well But this Gamora is not one of my favorites. I like the old the movie version Gamora um, definitely there is going to be people that vice versa like the comic book compared to me. Um, there is uh, another chrome one in there. Chrome ones really take a very interest in me depending on one, its value and still how it looks. Um, I did buy the Batman, uh, uh, what's it called? Chrome one. Just because it seems like the Batman ones definitely are valuable. I definitely checked on prop, prop or pop pricing guide and they were definitely very high up there. I know those are ones that have been vaulted and ones in the past, but it seems like every single year these Chrome ones for Batman uh, ones definitely go up. So I had to get it. I know Conan was definitely there for the 25th anniversary. I don't see the value in Conan. Yeah, he's he's talk show host and so, so forth, but I just couldn't hold myself to getting that one at GameStop. It definitely looked like a very plain pop was not chrome it was just kind of flat color and i just didn't see myself paying the 15 dollars for it um and so other than that um like i said before toy tokyo those ones are gonna be overseas i do want to try to see if i could get that ultraman and see if that's any um struggle for me to get but i'll try it at a different time um but i did get the ones i well i got i would say half maybe three quarters of what i wanted the main ones i wanted to get was wong and then the big bang theory set um, as well obviously I don't need to get the loot llama because the loot llama is already available it's just they slapped on a different sticker and said that this is SDCC so I mean I don't really need that one and I don't see it going any higher the Fort Pi Fortnite pops don't go up that much in value I know the crack shot pop which is the the cracker uh, I'll show you guys here is this pop here this is the pop that is one of the higher value ones since it is a Walmart exclusive. Other than that, Walmart pops do not go up that much. Um, so I'm, that's why I'm not going to get that Loot Llama. But the Big Bang Theory ones are really what I would like to get. Um, I did collect a new series of Big Bang Theories. I would like to get the old ones, but to each his own and we'll see. But yeah, I was definitely very upset that Walmart didn't have those. Um, so to take a look at the ones that I did get, let's take a look. These are the beauties right here. Um, I know I think I want to say that the guy um, um, from the UK, I'm having a brain fart. I can't remember his name offhand. I, and I do apologize if you were watching this. I do apologize. I do know that you said you wanted one of these. Um, maybe we can talk and maybe I could send this up to you somehow. I don't see myself keeping this one. Um, I wanted to kind of see if it goes up in value. If it does, if it doesn't, maybe selling to somebody that would like this. So if you would like this, let me know down in the comments below. Or give me a thumbs up for the video. Let me know if you guys would like this. I I, I, I like the Batman in the DC universe, but I'm not more of a DC fan. Um, but I kind of got this. Well, one blue is my second favorite color. Um, obviously, purple is my first. But I wanted to get this just because, like I said before, Chrome Batman ones tend to go up in value. So definitely had to get this one. Um, and then we got. We'll leave the the last one that I was kind of excited about. We got Min or Min er Erva Erva. I'm gonna say. Minerva, I'm probably butchering this, but this is Minerva. Yeah, I can't use my other hand still because I can't grip on completely. So definitely, this is why I'm doing just one hand. Um, Minerva, definitely very good looking colors. Definitely doesn't seem like this one was rushed. Very beautifully, beautifully detailed. Um, even if you look at her belt across her chest, um, of her ammo and everything, and even her hair definitely looks very good and it wasn't rushed on the paint. Um, so very good on that one. Um, going back to the Chrome one, this one also seemed like it was very good where it wasn't like some of the gold ones that I've seen um, for like the Avengers and Marvel ones um, where they seemed like they're chipped. 
This one definitely is very good when it comes to the color. No chips, no chipping that I can see. So I definitely was very happy that it didn't seem like it was chipped. And last but not least, the one I was definitely excited for and went up to my area that I go to um, was the Starship Troopers. And I'm hoping with this beginning pop that they have for the John Rico that they are going to make more of just of not just him, but maybe of the arachnids. Maybe do a six inch pop of an arachnid or um, maybe a ship or maybe his girlfriend or the girl that he ends up being with and the curly haired or the, 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 the teacher that ends up dying and so forth. And you, you'd have to watch Starship Troopers to know what I'm talking about. Um, but I love Starship Troopers. It's one of the movies that my parents didn't like me watching growing up because obviously there was a lot of grotesque and gore in it because the, the soldiers were in the future battling the monsters, aka the arachnids, on a different planet. And this definitely got to a gory movie. But the love of this pop is one of my favorites is there is splatter on the box himself. I know um, Funko has done that with um, like walking dead um uh i think a chucky one where they have blood spatter inside the box i just think this is cool they call it mud but is actually alien spatter when he, john rico throws the grenade into a huge bug slash aka arachnid and ends up blowing it up and then he gets all this gooey stuff all over his um face you can see in on his helmet it's in the top there it's blood sp pretty much blood spatter from the 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 bug Definitely, I like this pop. This is, I think, probably my first plot pop that I have actually spatter on the actual um, the window. So I had to get this one. This one was definitely very cool. Um, if you guys don't like it, I would say you still buy it because it's definitely a cool pop. Um, like I said, I look, looking at the back, you can see the back right there. That's that iconic movie moment that he blows up the the bug and then he gets covered. I wish I would have seen maybe more, I mean the cover over the spatter is pretty much all over him. I just wish it was a little bit more defined where you could see it like all over. Cause you have to really get up there and look at the box and so you can see what it is, what's in there. But other than that, I still think it's a very good pop. So other than that, those are the three that I got for right now, just because I would have gotten the Big Bang Theory ones if they were in stock and Wong as well. But unfortunately, they were not in stock. Um, I'm going to see if they are online. Um, so hopefully, we'll get to see those here soon. Also, with it being the 18th, um, that leaves about 10 days until Amazon releases their Marvel exclusive Amazon box for um, Spider-Man Far From Home. So stay tuned, um, hopefully soon. I know my Funko F Pops uh, videos are not completely all, all over the place where they're coming out. Um, more often than they should just because I don't collect like every single day I go out maybe every other weekend and so forth to try to find bops and obviously I am stacked on pops everywhere I will be doing a room tour as well here soon but I don't want I just don't want to buy all the pops I want to buy the certain ones that I like and also I want to get ultra rares I don't want to just want to have what everybody else has I want the rare ones where people maybe a hundred people have or maybe a thousand people have I want the rare ones so that's why I haven't been doing so much I've been kind of searching for the rarity ones um, so hopefully when I start finding some rarity ones and I can afford them because they're obviously expensive as well um, I'll start doing a little bit more on the Funko Pop um, hunting as well um, so stay tuned for those um, and you'll be getting those videos here soon so again guys thank you very much for watching and as always please give a little bit of moment and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, like, comment, and share the video to your friends and family all over the place. And just make sure, like I said before this, hit the red bar icon, hit that bell icon so you never miss a video. And I can't thank you enough for the people that have already subscribed. Thank you very much. Um, let's get that road to a thousand here. Um, and we'll get reach to the top and bring this, uh, this Awoki channel up to the top rankings with all the other YouTubers. So again, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been real, it's been awesome. Um, we'll see you guys in the next video.